gentlemen, from Middle Plain of Mississippi, number two, Jasta From Oxford, Mississippi, number four, Ember Sis. From Canton, Mississippi, number 28, Ariel Jones. From Clarksdale, Mississippi, number 25, is Ashley Howard. And number 23 from Clarksdale, Mississippi, Miss Erica Collins. These are your Lady Tigers. Your assistant coach, Sean Galvin, your head coach, Mr. Mitra Forrest. And we are ready to go here in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Erica Collins stepping in for the tip. She's out there with Sis Howard Totten and our CCC Athlete of the Week, Miss Ariel Jones of Canton, Mississippi. Jones, a sophomore forward named Miss CCC Basketball just about two weeks ago at our homecoming. It's Neyland versus Collins here on the jump. Neyland won it, but hit it back to Jones. Jones controlling with the left hand goes to Collins. Collins had 10 rebounds in the first matchup between these two teams, and she starts herself off with a couple of points there. Collins' little runner to give CCC an early advantage. They'll have their hands full tonight with the Lady Indians, but again, would not be surprised to see them pull one out. Rebound there by Tucker. She's going to kick it out to Jayla Chills. Start things over after the initial miss there by Itawamba. Tucker far side gives it to a flashing Allen. Now she swings it around to Chills and Chills walks. Turnover on the initial possession here from the Lady Indians as a team. They average 80.8 .8 points per game. Good shooting outfit. They shoot at 44.7% from the field and 36 point. 1% from outside, rely a little bit more on guard play than they do a physical inside presence. Lady Tigers now controlling. Totten with the right hand, gives it over to Howard. Howard getting the pick there from Collins, goes the other way, finds Totten in the corner. She had 18 against Delta. Now it's Erica Collins double teamed on the baseline. Sisk, Totten, Totten on the ground. Has to start things over with Sisk. Sisk somehow makes it to the hoop and bounces one home. Four point lead here for the Lady Tigers. Inawamba trying to respond. It's Elantra Tucker from Lamar giving it over there to Allen. Cross court pass to Chills. Neeland is flashing on the inside. Chills thinks three misses it. Totten's going to grab a running rebound. Two on two here for the Lady Tigers. Totten rejected from behind and it hit off her before it went out of bounds. Josta Totten attacking the basket. Very aggressive here in the early going. And that's sort of what Denitra Forrest has been asking her to do. Inside, it's Allen. Allen, jumper, two ball, that'll go, 4-2. ICC gets on the board. They are seeking their 16th win of the season. Josta Totten around the back across the emblem. Lady Tigers have been winless since starting the season two and three. Beat Arkansas Baptist, now trying to win their first game in more than two and a half months. Jones there over McMillan, missed it. Rebound though by Totten, too strong. Collins powers her way to a rebound and is fouled on the way up. Erica Collins heads to the line. And Collins actually committed an offensive foul there. They say that she pushed off. So that is going to be the first there on Erica Collins. And it does send us the other way. Chills near side, runs into a triple team, kicks it into the corner, shot there by Neyland, good. Lady Indians tie it up at four, 17.30 to go here in the first half. Totten, down central, stopped up by Tucker. She'll back things out, Collins gives her a pick. Tucker got around it though. Collins on the pick and roll, long jumper, no good. Rebound by McMillan. And it will be Lady Tiger ball down low. Knocked out of bounds by the Lady Indians. 17-12 here. 
Shot clock not reset. And they're going to give it to Itawamba here. Initially, call was in the Lady Tigers' favor, but now they have given it back to the Lady Indians. Chills, other end, three ball in and out. Jones went for the rebound, and she was fouled over the back here on number 23, Kaylin Neal. Jossa Totten here controls for the Lady Tigers. Totten trying to get around Tucker, 6-4. Itawamba leads it after a pair of free throws there from Tucker. Pardon, folks, if you couldn't hear our broadcast there for a few seconds. We do think we've got it figured out, and just in time for Ariel Jones to capitalize there around the rim. Jones, the sophomore from Canton, Miss CCC basketball, getting on the board for the first time in this game. Now it's Lenicki McMillan knocking one down from the free throw line for Itawamba. 8-6, Lady Indians reclaim the lead. Lady Tigers started the game here on a 4-0 run since then have given up eight, but hanging right tough with these Lady Indians. It is a battle of the first place team in the MAC JC North versus the last place team. Though at times the Lady Tigers have played like they should be at the top of the division. Ariel Jones almost bounced that one in with her back to the rim, no good though. Now it's Collins, little runner turnaround, she gets it. Erica Collins makes an 8-8 CCC, hanging in there. It's Elantra Tucker. Controlling here for the Lady Indians. They're working against the Lady Tiger 2-3 zone. Neyland downstairs from the corner knocks down a jumper. Perfect swish. Who needs a rim? 10-8. Lady Indians reclaim the slight advantage. Totten loses that one. It went off the knee of Allen, and it does go out of bounds.
Smith going hard at the hole. Again, folks, we do apologize here for the issues with our sound, but we should be good to go now. I think we do have the problem figured out. We're locked up in a good one here in Clarksdale. Lady Tigers, Lady Indians going at it. And the Lady Tigers hanging right with this tough Lady Indian squad. 10-10, 17-08, or pardon, 13-08 to go here in the first half. Foul there on Ariel Jones. That is the Lady Tigers third here of the first half. Lady Indians will take it the other way. And for them is Ricky Hooker going right down the middle and giving it over to Chills. Chills too short off the front iron. Totten manages to run down the rebound, streaking toward the cup. Totten blocked from behind, but there is a whistle on the play. Josta here is going to go to the line for two. Again, she was a perfect nine of nine from the line against Mississippi Delta. Get a ball basketball. Time out, Lady Tigers.
everyone, and welcome in to KahomaSports.com. Hopefully you have been watching. Unfortunately, we had a problem there with our sound just for a few mo moments, but we are good to go now. 14-13 is your score here in the pinnacle. Lady Tigers and Lady Indians going at it right now on the line is Elantra Tucker, 10 minutes, 32 seconds to go. Here in the first half, Erica Collins is going to check back into the game. Had an offensive foul earlier but is now back in, relieving Ariel Jones. It's her, Sisk, Blair, Leonard, and Totten out there for the Lady Tigers, 15-13. And that will remain our score as Tucker misses the second. Thank you once again for tuning in with us, folks. 15-2, the Lady Indians taking on the 2-14 and 14 Lady Tigers. Lady Tigers looking for their first win since beating Arkansas Baptist back on November the 11th. Totten is going to inbound here. Collins, Sisk, Leonard, and Blair out there for the Lady Tigers. They'll move around. Collins on the inside goes up strong. Forrest one of the foul. Collins nearly comes down with the rebound. Unfortunately, it's grabbed by McMillan, and now it's the other way. Ricky Hooker, one-handed bounce pass ahead there to Allen. Allen sinks the short jumper to get the Lady Indian lead up to four. Amber Sisk out of Oxford. Graduate of Oxford High says she may attend Middle Tennessee State or Ole Miss next year. Nice move to the bucket, and she finishes it off. Amber Sisk responding blow for blow here with the Lady Indians. Sisk with her second runner of the game. Brings the Lady Tigers back within two. 9.46 on the, sh on the game. Just about 20 on the shot. Ricky Hooker far side working against Sisk. Has to go inside to McMillan. McMillan kicks to Tony, Erica Tony. Swishes one home, and that was just worth two. Feet were on the line, 19-15. Sis trying to get to the cup again, gives it off to Blair. Beautiful pass, Blair up strong. She was fouled in the act of shooting, and she will head to the line. Again, pardon the delay, folks, but we should be error-free the rest of our broadcast. Arika Blair to the stripe here for the Lady Tigers. Blair perfect on the first. Erika on the season shooting a pretty solid 45.8% from the line. Has been better as the season has gone on. Nails both of those. Perfect form and Erika Blair makes it a 19-17 ball game. Lady Tigers led on the season by Erica Collins. She averages 13.9 points, 8.4 rebounds per game. Playing in just 22.5 minutes per contest, she has absolutely wreaked havoc on the MAC JC. Her Achilles heel staying on the floor, staying out of foul trouble. Longer than she can be on the parquet for the Lady Tigers tonight. Better shape that we're going to be in. Erika Blair was fighting there with Ricky Hooker. Called the jump ball. And it will be Lady Tiger inbound underneath their own hoop. Sisk back to Totten as she stepped back in. And Totten immediately stripped by Hooker, who goes to Tony. And Tony finishes it off, 21-17. A little bit careless there. Amber Sisk and Josta Totten interrupted rather rudely by the Lady Indians in the backcourt. But give them credit, they got the steal and got the bucket. Now it's Sis trying to go inside once again. Picks up her dribble, bounce passes inside to Collins. Collins against Neyland, runs into a double team and one! Oh no, they're gonna call that on Collins, how? Erica Collins, I'm not sure what the violation was. I guess a push, but it looked like she was just going hard to the hoop. She decided for her second offensive foul of the game. We'll check on how many total that is for Collins here momentarily. Other end, Erica Tony, who scored the last four here for the Lady Indians. She gets that. Collins now with a pair. Amber Sisk goes the other way. Now I think they are going to say that, that was a travel on Collins there in that previous possession. So Collins just with one. That was the offensive foul earlier at about the 15 minute mark. Lady Tigers turn it over again, entry pass to Collins a little bit wide and it does go out of bounds. Jeronia Allen inbounds here to Hooker. Hooker a 5-2 sophomore point guard out of Olive Branch, Mississippi, graduated from Olive Branch high, high on the season, averaging four points per game. Not a terrific shooter, more of a ball distributor. She has it again working against Josta Totten, the young lady from Itabena. Now it's Allen thinking three, too short, and that one will squirt out of bounds right in front of the Lady Tiger Reserves. 
Amber Sisk and Jasta Totten will inbound again. Jasmine Leonard in the backcourt. Sisk gets it into Totten. Totten trying to go down the near side, interrupted by Tony. Now her pass over the top, knocked out of bounds by Jeronia Allen. Lady Tigers will throw it in once again. Totten cross court here to Blair. Blair will wait for things to get set up, go back to Sisk. Sisk has had to take on more ball handling responsibilities as the season has gone on. Losses of Gabrielle Gilbert and others have given her the ball a little bit more. Collins misses the turnaround. Now Hooker across the stripe, turning on the speed. Goes to Allen. Allen back out to McMillan. McMillan too short on that. Rim, glass. Now Collins grabs it. Collins fighting for that rebound. Looked like she was a little bit of pain there. But now running down the court. Looking fine. Josta Totten. Stopped up by Hooker, will wait for something to set up. Collins gives her a pick, Totten the other way. Goes to Sisk, Sisk looking to go inside to Erica. Puts it on the ground, now tries a bounce pass to Amber Sit or to Erica Collins off of an Itawamba foot and out of bounds. Jayla Chills back in the game here for the Lady Indians, as is Elantra Tucker. Chills, the leading scorer on this Lady Indian squad. She averages 19.4 points per game. Second on the team is Neyland. She averages 13.2. Tucker third with 9.9. .9. Leading rebounder is Neyland. She also averages 9.9 .9 rebounds. How many times do you see that? The exact same number for points per game and rebounds per game. 9.9. .9. So close to a double-double. Justin Totten so close to a three-pointer. A little bit short, and they do blow the whistle and call a foul on Arika Blair. Blair picks up her second, team's fifth. Lady Indians have seven, so the Lady Tigers are in the double bonus here with six and a half to go. Elantra Tucker puts it on the parquet, dishes it over to Jayla Chills. Chills trying to get to the bucket, too strong off the glass. Rebound by McMillan, back up, and bounces it off a couple of pieces of the rim and gets it to fall, 25-17. Lady Tigers... We're trailing by just two a couple minutes ago, but the Lady Indians starting to turn up the heat. Totten nearly lost it, and now Forrest wants a timeout. Lady Tigers take their first timeout of the game. We'll go ahead and catch our breath ourselves, folks. 6.07 to go here in the first half. Lady Tiger basketball here on Kahomasports.com. Stay with us. Plenty more to come. And welcome back to KahomaSports.com, your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. We told you a little bit about this Lady Indian squad before the game, but we have we do understand that some folks out there tonight in internet radio and video land had some trouble hearing us. So I'll tell you a little bit more about them again. Itawamba is on top in the Mac JC North. They are 6-0 in conference play. They come in on a 10-game winning streak. They're just as good at home as they are away. 7-1 in Fulton, 8-1 on the road. Lady Tigers trying to prevent them from becoming 9-1. They average 80.8 points per game, shoot at 36% from beyond the arc. Very good shooting team. Rely a little more on their guard work than they do on their interior presence. Amber Sis from long distance showing off some good guard work there. She nails it. Sisk, the sharpshooter, talked to her a few days ago, says she's pondering a, an offer from Middle Tennessee State University, may also just attend Ole Miss as a student next year. Leonard here, cited for a foul on defense. Leonard there trying to contain number 13, Lenicki McMillan. McMillan, a sophomore forward, making her 18th appearance for the Lady Indians this year. She averages 6.1, and Leonard picks up her first foul, team six. Inbounding is Jayla Chills. She has to go all the way out to Kayla Nealon. Nealon, nice move there against Collins. Can't roll it home, though. Blair knocks away the rebound, out of bounds. Lady Indians will have the inbound on the baseline. Lady Tigers will be back in action after this one at Holmes. That'll be on February the 2nd. Please do tune in for that one right here on KahomaSports.com here on January 29th. Pretty good game brewing. Missed there by Neyland. Rebound Lady Tigers, and it's Totten going up the far side. Totten working against Tucker. Slows things up, feet on the emblem. Josta goes to Amber Sisk. 
who has the last field goal for the Lady Tigers. Sisk, bounce pass to Leonard. Leonard inside, high post to Collins. Beautiful spin move, fires it up, in and out. Ball knocked away, Lady Indians come down with it. It's Tucker on the move. Tucker going to the cup, Leonard. Got her on the arm. Jasmine Leonard picks up her second foul of the game. And both of them have come in the last minute. A couple of free throws on the docket here for Elantra Tucker, the freshman point guard, making her 15th start of the season. She averages 9.9 .9 a game. And we will see how she does right here from the stripe on the season, shooting at 70.8% from the free throw line. First one's perfect. Lead now 26-20 in favor of Itawamba. 5.04 to go here in the first half. Each team with seven fouls. Next one from Tucker, and she gets that one as well, 27-20. Lady Tigers really had trouble in the rebounding department against Mississippi Delta. That was our last game on Monday. Lady Tigers out-rebounded by 20-plus in that game. Of course, Erica Collins spent much of the contest on the bench in foul trouble, but she's done a pretty good job so far playing within herself tonight. Only one foul right now. Lady Tigers turn it over. Tugger trying to get to the hoop. She's stripped by Sisk, and Sisk is going to try to push it. Bounce pass to Leonard. Looked like it went off a Lady Indian foot. No whistle, though. McMillan came up with the steal, and she'll dump it back to Jayla Chills. Lady Tigers, a couple of one-point losses here in the second semester. Lost to Hines back on January 8th by one. Lost to SUSLA, that's Southern Shreveport, Louisiana, back on January 17th. So they have been close here during this long losing streak that we have been in on, or have been on. We'll see if we can turn it around here. Lady Indians capitalize on the Cahoma end there. It was Neeland putting in the short jumper to make it 29-20. Ashley Howard checks back into the game here for the Lady Tigers. Blair, Totten, Howard, Leonard, and Collins out there. Sisk heads back to the bench. Totten near side. Lady Tigers trying to slow down this Lady Indian run here at the end of the first period. Totten turns it over there. Her pass intended for Blair threw it behind her. Bouncing it harmlessly out of bounds. It goes back to the Lady Indians. Leonard's going to come back out, and Sisk is going to step back in here for the Lady Tigers. Ariel Jones was our leading scorer when we played the Lady Indians in Fulton on December 4th. She had 14 to go along with one steal, four rebounds. Collins had eight and 10 rebounds. Chantrell Williams was good in that game as well. She had 11, and she's preparing to check back into the game. Chills crossing over Howard, spin move there into the paint, dumps it off to Evans, and Evans travels with it. Trevor, Treasure Evans, a freshman forward, making her 15th appearance of the year for Itawamba, committing the turnover there, averaging a point and a half a game. Evans gives it back to the Lady Tigers. They've had a little bit of trouble holding on to the ball over the last couple of possessions, but down only nine here to the Lady Indians, the Mac JC North Lady Indians. They've run their winning streak to double digits. Lady Tigers trying to slow them down. Sis going for another three and one. Amber Sis, forget about three, how about four? She's headed to the stripe. And what a phenomenal job Amber Sis has done for us this season, shooting 64% from the stripe. Three point percentage now up to 29% and it should be inflating here. Now two of two from beyond the arc. She misses that one. But the Lady Tigers have pulled back within six, just over three minutes to go. It's Jayla Chills crossing over Howard, dunks it down low to Evans, working against Williams, and she powers it home. 31-23, Todd will take it up far side. Williams had her best game of the year against Inawamba back on December 4th. Sets a pick there for Totten, who throws it over the head of Sis. Josta is so good against Mississippi Delta. She had 18 points, 10 assists, and just two turnovers against the Lady Trojans, but now has thrown it away in two of the Lady Tigers' last three possessions. She's lifted in favor of Jasmine Leonard. Lady Tigers retain possession. Leonard trying, or pardon, Howard trying to curl. Now gets it to Leonard on the arc. Back to Sisk. Sisk, nice pump fake, nice step. Down low to Williams, and Williams finishes it off off the glass. Amber Sisk, really the progenitor for the offense right now for the Lady Tigers. Believe that she 
is up to 10 points. And now that beautiful assist there, two shot trail Williams. Other end, Williams commits the foul against number 25, Raylan Starks. Starks going out for the layup there, a hack by Chantrell. Starks will find herself on the stripe where she is a 54% free throw shooter. Starks a freshman forward, hails from Cordova, Tennessee, graduate of Arlington High. The left-hander sinks the first to get the lead back up to seven for the Lady Indians. Itawamba coached by Nancy Gray and assistant coach Robin Porter. Lady Tigers, of course, headed up by Denitra Forrest, first-year head coach out of Jones County, where she served three years as an assistant. She's assisted by Ole Miss legend Sean Goff. The two of them played together for the Rebels in Oxford from 2004 to 2008. Goff became one of just 10 players to eclipse 1,000 points and 700 rebounds in a four-year career at Ole Miss. Whistle blows, and Totten is going to sub back into the game here for the Lady Tigers. This ECC program in very good hands with Forrest and Goff done a good job with this Lady Tiger team have really had to shuffle the lineup and so on with injuries and so forth turnover here again for the Lady Tigers and Tucker finishes it off Jayla Chills credited with the steal a lot to look forward to for the Lady Tigers here at the end of the season and into next year they turn it over again another steal for Chills Chills down the left side she beats Totten to the cup and lays it in Double-digit lead for Itawamba. I believe this is their first one of the game. Denitra Forrest needs another timeout. 1.49 to go here in the first half, folks. My name is Joey Zanaboni. We'll catch our breath and be back in 15 seconds. Live here from the Pinnacle in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Lady Indians going at it here in Clarksdale. Second matchup of the year between these two teams. Lady Indians got the best of us when we were in Fulton back on December 4th. Final in that game was 94-52. Neeland, Tucker, and Chills were the leading scorers for ICC. They had 19, 18, and 17 respectively. Lady Tigers turned it over 28 times in that game, and they turned it over for the third consecutive possession here tonight. Steal by Evans now. Shot there by Allen, missed. Rebound by Ariel Jones. Jones had 14 back on December 4th against Itawamba. Lady Tigers have fallen on sort of a hard few minutes here at the end of the first half. But we'll see if they can turn it around and go into the locker room strong. Howard dishes down low to Jones. Jones to the high elbow. Williams back to Sisk, but Williams traveled. Chantrell Williams, who does have a pair of points in this game, commits the turnover. And the Lady Tigers once again give it back to the Lady Indians. Ricky Hooker brings it up for them. Hooker, Evans out there as well. Allen is out there. Chills is out there along with Starks. Chills working against Howard. Whistle away from the ball. We'll see who this went against. It goes against Chantrell Williams, and that will put Raylan Starks on the line. Pushing off down low was the call. And Williams will check on what her line is now. Starks on the season, 54% free throw shooter. Williams now with two to go along with those two points. Starks knocks down the first, 37-25 Lady Indians. Bucko five to go here in the first half. Right now Lady Tigers being led by Amber Sis. She has 10 points, one assist. Starks raindrop, 38-25 Lady Indians. Closing out this half strong. Totten working against Hooker. Tries to bring it across the court. Gets it across the emblem. Over the head of Hooker to Sisk. Sisk finds Howard. Howard gets space. Fires one up. Too strong off the glass. Lady Indians corral the rebound. Chills, the sophomore guard who averages 19.4 points a game. Trying to cut her way through the Lady Tiger defense. Nice move without moving the feet. And she sinks it. Jayla Chills, impressive player and an impressive move. 33 seconds to go now. Howard tries to go down low to Jones. That pass knocked away by Hooker. And now it's going to be Itawamba inbounding on the baseline. Jeronia Allen will throw it in. Allen, a sophomore from Minden, Louisiana, graduate of Minden High. Now it is going to be Lady Tiger possession. They switch there. Sisk on the drive. Looked like that one was partially blocked. 
Hooker comes down with it, 20 seconds to go. In the half, shot clock is turned off. Jumper here from Allen, Allen misses it. Rebound though by, by Nealon, no pardon, that was Evans, and now it's Chills. Up top, 10 seconds to go. Again, shot clock is not a factor here. Chills getting the pick up top from Starks. Right hand, open lane to the bucket, too strong. Starks tried to grab it. Knocked out of bounds, but after the buzzer sounds. Halftime, folks, here in Clarksdale. Itawamba leads at 40-25. We'll go ahead and give you the stats at halftime and then resume our play-by-play -play here. At the start of the second period, my name is Joey Zanaboni saying thank you so much for being with us, folks, here on CahomasSports.com. Your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. five times on average per game for 2014-15 and a little bit more than on pace for that here tonight. 16 in the first half, but Amber Sisk has been a bright spot for the Lady Tigers. She has 10 points, including two three-pointers there in the first period. Also had a beautiful assist to Chantrell Williams. She played 19 minutes, 50 seconds out of the first 20. And she's our star of the game so far for Itawamba. It's been a pretty balanced attack. Elantra Tucker is leading the way with seven. But Chills has six. Neeland has six. Tony has six. Starks has five. McMillan has four. Allen has four. So a lot of players for the Lady Indians spreading it out, getting the points. And now they'll go back to work here against the Lady Tiger defense. Sisk, Totten, Collins, Jones, and Howard out there to start for CCC. Itawamba working it around. It's Allen going over to Chills. Chills inside there to Nealon. Nealon misses that short jumper. Collins comes down with the rebound, gives it to Howard, and now it's Totten. Josta bringing it across the equator here for the Lady Tigers, trying to avoid their 15th loss of the season. Goes over to Sisk, nearly poked away by Chills. Now Sisk gets a pick from Collins outside. Sisk still hot. Amber Sisk with her th third three-pointer of the ball game. She brings the Lady Tigers back within 12 here. 19-15 to go in regulation. Lady Tigers have not played an overtime game all year. Neeland knocks that one down from the corner. 42-28. Totten has a couple of Itawamba defenders back up. She brings it across. Of course, she is the daughter of Willie Totten, legendary quarterback at Mississippi Valley. Gets it over to Howard, the Clarksdale native. Now Jones, her pass to Sisk, nearly tipped away by Chills. Amber Sisk goes back over to Howard. Howard, nice crossover, gets space, finds Collins. Collins trying to drive there on Neeland, was stopped up, goes back to Howard. Howard with four on the shot, too strong. And the rebound is, is grabbed by Elantra Tucker. Elantra Tucker came down with it. Now it's Allen on the short jumper, missed it. Collins tries to save it, and she steps out of bounds. Erica Collins. Nearly saving that one. She's averaging about 14 and nine per contest. Lady Indians on the inbound, Neeland in the corner. Now up top, it's Tucker. Tucker finds Allen. Cross court pass, dangerous one, but got it to Chills. Chills working against Sisk, finds Neeland there high post, and Neeland buries it. 
44-28. Kaylin Neeland on the year averages 13.2 per game and shoots it a solid 49.7% from the field. Beautiful stroke. You can see why she's been so successful this year. Lady Indians got off to kind of a slow start. They were up just 14-10, about seven minutes there in the first half, but turned it on late in the period to... Go into halftime with a sizable advantage, 15 points. They are up 16 right now. Howard on the runner, too short. Rebound nearly grabbed by Tucker. Totten instead grabs it near sideline. Fresh shot clock here for the Lady Tigers. Sisk up top. Rainbow, no bounce. Look like that thing maybe hit off the top of the backboard. That would explain the whistle called on the far side there by Valerie Stovall. She, Jennifer Emanuel, and Kelvin Short are your... Ladies and gentlemen in zebra stripes this evening. They're doing the refereeing in front of a crowd that's continuing to file in here at the Pinnacle. Remember the men do get underway about 20 or so minutes after this one has concluded. Please do turn in, tune in right here on Kahomasports.com. Men looking for their second win of the season against the 5-12 and 12 Itawamba Indians. They were getting warmed up at halftime. Should be a good game here in Clarksdale coming up. McMillan on a turnaround, 46-28. Lady Tigers fell to Mississippi Delta on Monday. Weren't great around the glass in that one, but we're within one in the rebounding department here tonight against this Itawamba squad. Howard on the runner. Too strong. Rebound by Jeronia Allen. Howard slips. Allen goes forward to McMillan. McMillan trying another corner shot. Missed it. Totten on the board. She'll try to turn on the gas right here in front of the scorer's table. Finds a little space now. Slows it up. Itawamba kind of going to a double team down low against Collins. They're watching her very carefully. Lady Tigers have been trying to go inside all night. Totten trying to go inside on the baseline. Stopped up, 10 on the shot clock, curls back out. Tries to go over the top to Collins. Collins up over the defender. 46-30, Erica Collins somehow comes down with the pass and then loops it off the backboard. 16 and a half, Lady Tigers back within 16. Chills on the drive. Ariel Jones scoops up her miss and now it's Totten down the far side. Joss is switching hands. Goes to Sisk in the corner. Sisk with a three in this half. Three overall in the game. Pretty move there. Forget about a three. She'll take that one in the lane. Amber Sisk making her way through the Itawamba defense and finishing it off. Shooter's touch there from Amber Sisk. She has been great now up to 15 in the game. Up top, it's Allen. Allen tries to go down low to Neyland. She kicks it back out to Tucker. Tucker three too short. Howard on the bounce. She'll push it forward. Home run pass to Sisk, though picked off by Jeronia Allen. And Itawamba will keep it down in the Lady Tiger end. Shot here by McMillan. And McMillan once again buries the 10-footer. 48-32. Looks like Chantrell Williams getting ready to go back into the game here for the Lady Tigers. Sisk leading the way right now for CCC. Totten. Starting, starting to come on though. She drives and puts that one off the window, 48-34. 15-14 remains here in regulation. They get it back to McMillan. McMillan no good on that one. Rebound by Tucker, too strong back up, but she was fouled. She'll head to the line. Elantra Tucker, a 71% free throw shooter on the season. Heads to the stripe, that foul on Josta Totten. And that is the first Lady Tiger foul here in the second half, second on Totten personally in the game. Tucker ignores the jeers from the CCC crowd and sinks that one. Erica Collins is going to head out of the game. Chantrell Williams takes her place. Williams had 11 on December 4th against Itawamba. Now back into the contest. Tucker, good on both. Erika Blair preparing to sub back into the game here for the Lady Tigers, and she will get in, relieving Ariel Jones. Jones, our CCC Athlete of the Week, native of Canton, 5'7 forward, has been terrific for the Lady Tigers. I was talking to Cedric Tenner, the assistant coach on the men's team, and I said, Ariel Jones is our Athlete of the Week, and he said she could have been at multiple weeks this season, has just been terrific, averaging about nine points to go along with five rebounds per contest. Ashley Howard over and back. Lady Tigers maybe thought that that ball was knocked away, and it shouldn't have been a turnover, but... 
The referees making the call, Kelvin Short blowing the whistle and citing Howard with that turnover. Ricky Hooker walking it up, gives it over to Tony. Tony far side, finds Allen. Allen down low to Neeland, rejected by Erika Blair. Blair with the block down low there on Neeland. And now let's see if the Lady Tigers can capitalize. Totten smooth to the rim. She lays it in. And suddenly the Lady Tigers starting to look strong against this Lady Indian squad. Allen near side. Goes to Tony back up top. Tony to Hooker. Now it's down low. Neeland from the corner in and out. Itawamba tips around the rebound. Williams knocked it away. Now it's a struggle on the ground. Jump ball called. And this one's going to CZZ. Lady Tiger possession down on their own end. Let's see if the Lady Tigers can keep it up. They've seized the momentum here. Raylan Starks is going to come into the game here for Itawamba. 14-12, plenty of time to go here in this one. Lady Indians going to the press down on the Lady Tiger end. Sisk's pass to Howard knocked out of bounds and will do it again. Lady Tigers with just five more games in this 2014-15 season after this one. Again, we are back in action at Holmes, February the 2nd. Please do look for the live stream right here on ColumbusSports.com. Totten cross court to Howard. Howard lo looking for something inside, finds Totten corner, three ball, too short. Chantrell Williams for the rebound though, back up, can't spin it in, gets her own board again, goes back up and is fouled. Chantrell Williams looking a little frustrated with herself for not putting that in, but still an excellent hustle play. To get to that ball a couple of times, initially after the Totten miss, and then after her own miss, and now she is on the stripe. Chantrell has come off the bench every game this season for the Lady Tigers, but has played in all 17 contests. She misses that one, just a 41% free throw shooter on the year, but Williams has been very, very good from the field for the Lady Tigers, shooting at 56% from the field. Coming into this one, she averages about four points in 12 minutes per game, misses both free throws there. And now it's Hooker bringing it across the elbow. Emblem for the Lady Indians. She gives it up to Tony. Tony had it knocked away by Totten, and it'll be a Lady Indian inbound. They're on the far sideline. Jeronia Allen, a sophomore guard out of Minden, Louisiana, to inbound. She gets it to Hooker. Back to Allen. Allen's three in and out off the board. Rebound though, Itawamba and Erica Tony gets it to go. Erica Tony makes it a 16 point Itawamba advantage. Totten finds Blair, beautiful pass. And Blair with the lay in. 38 points now for CCC. They're trying to get it back to single digits. Last win came against Arkansas Baptist right here in Clarksdale. Foul here on Amber Sisk. Sisk before halftime, did pick up no personal fouls in that first period, so that is her first of the game. Second here of the half for the Lady Tigers, Totten and Sisk committing personal so far in the period. It was on the ground, chills, goes down low to Nealon. Nealon from the corner, goes back out to Tony. Tony, short jumper, she finishes it off. 54-38, ICCC up, ICC up here in Clarksdale. They are 15 and two, leading the Mac JC North right now, six and zero. In second, it's Northwest. It'll be a good battle the rest of the season to see who can claim the division crown between those two squads. Lady Tigers tie up Aisha Mays after the initial turnover. It's going to be a foul here on Jasta Totten, reach in foul. Totten now with three overall, two here in the second half. Totten, the Itabena native, says she'll attend Alabama A&M it's about this time of year you start wondering where these young ladies will be attending next year, whether they will continue on with their basketball careers. And I'm happy to say that most of them seem to be interested in playing at the next level and seem to have schools that are interested. This is a sophomore heavy squad. It should be returning just Tanisha Gary and Jasmine Leonard next year. Everyone else graduating, moving on. Howard. After the Itawamba travel, tries to go to Blair. She gets it out to Totten. Totten on the parquet to the bucket, too strong, but she's fouled. Jossa Totten, who was perfect from the line against Mississippi Delta, heads to the stripe once again. Totten, a 67% free throw shooter on the year, has now taken nearly 100 attempts. That is tops on this Lady Tiger outfit. 
She swishes that one home. Totten, her father, Willie Totten, a coach at Alabama A&M, coaches the quarterbacks on the football team. She'll be happy to be reunited with him in Alabama. As I said, Sisk thinking about going to Middle Tennessee. Erica Collins generated interest from Delta State, some interest from Southern Miss as well. We'll see where she ends up. Gabrielle Gilbert, who is no longer with the team, she was drawing interest, though, from University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Howard saved it there on the near sideline, threw it off of Hooker. They did whistle Hooker there for a foul, a pushing violation. So no call there on the sideline, whether it went off of Hooker or was off of Howard. Instead, it is a foul on Hooker, and that is her first. Hooker, no points, one rebound, four assists so far in this one. Lady Indians trapping here in the backcourt or guarding. Couple of Lady Tigers back there. Howard bounce passes ahead to Totten. Itawamba sags off a little bit. That's Totten. Tries to go over the top. She has her pass blocked by Hooker. Hooker attacking the bucket. Goes strong. Misses the layup. And Totten comes down with it. She's pushing. Has numbers. Jocelyn Totten slows things up. Picked up by Chills. Goes back up to Howard. Howard driving. Dish it off to Blair. Blair to Williams. And Williams gets the bucket. 54-42. Lady Tigers continue to chip away at this Itawamba lead. They've been stuck on that 54-point lily pad for a few minutes now. Chills out to Garner. Now it's Hooker far side. Hooker being guarded by Totten with the left hand around a couple of picks. Goes down low to Garner. Garner up strong, and she's fouled. Foul's going to go against Chantrell Williams. Lady Tigers put Itawamba on the stripe once again. Garner headed to the free throw line. She's a freshman guard, making her 15th appearance here for the Lady Indians, shooting at 33% on the line for the season and 42% from the field. Williams now with three. Garner makes it 55-42. Howard pushes it ahead to Totten. Bounce pass to Sisk. Sisk for her fourth three of the night. Too short. Williams, though, on the rebound. Back up. Couldn't quite get it. Blair tried to grab it. It bounces away. Chills comes up with it. Crosses over Howard, and now she's in all alone. Layup drill finish for Jayla Chills. We'll check on her stat line here momentarily. Chills, though, having a phenomenal season for Itawamba. She's up to eight points in this game to go along with four rebounds, two assists. Howard stripped by Hooker. Hooker down the near side. She goes to Chills. Chills back to Hooker, and Hooker finishes it off on the low block. Whistle on the floor. Timeout CCC. Jasmine Leonard is headed back in the game here for the Lady Tigers. When we come back from this timeout by Denitra Forrest, 10.38 to go in regulation. Plenty more to come. Here on KahomaSports.com, first game of our doubleheader, Lady Tigers, Lady Indians, back after this. Yeah, leading scorer for them. Neeland, Chills. And welcome back to KahomaSports.com, your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. Right now, Kaylin Neeland leading the way for Itawamba. She has 10, which puts her on pace, actually well above on pace to exceed, I guess, her season average of 13.2 a game. Jayla Chills has eight. Amber Sisk is leading the way right now for the Lady Tigers. She has 15 and currently controls the ball. Crossing over Hooker there, getting down the far side, goes to Totten, Totten, Goes down to the corner to Williams. Williams couldn't handle the pass, and she does foul Kaylin Neeland down there in the near corner near the Lady Tiger bench. Chantrell grabbing her up after losing the ball. That is going to be the fifth team foul for the Lady Tigers here in the half. They trail by 17. We're down 15 at halftime, but especially in the first, first part of that first half, really giving the Lady Indians a run for their money and really going blow to blow, toe to toe with the Mac JC North winners. Things sort of slowing down here for the Lady Tigers, but who knows, plenty of time to go here, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. Hooker over to Garner, far side, guarded by Sisk. 
Now it's Neyland, Neyland high post, kicks it back out to Chills. Chills thinking three, misses it. Rebound though by McMillan. McMillan will start things over with Garner as we hit 10 to go on the game clock. Chills crossing over Totten. Garner now, long three off the front iron, grabbed by McMillan. McMillan retains possession and they'll start things over with Chills. Couple of back to back, or a couple of offensive rebounds here for Itawamba, keeping plays alive. They've been a little bit better than the Lady Tigers on the glass. Neeland looking very comfortable from the corner. She makes it 61-42. That's a third time in my memory that she's hit a corner shot here in this half. Now Chills comes up with a steal at midcourt, goes around the back. Nice dribbling. Pulls up, goes to Hooker. Hooker bounce pass down low to Neeland. Neeland guarded by Collins, goes back to Hooker. Hooker down low to McMillan. Pretty ball movement, folks. Like watching the Atlanta Hawks or the San Antonio Spurs right there. Lady Indians just passing it through the Lady Tiger defense. I counted seven passes there before they put the ball in the hoop. Sisk to Leonard. Leonard now down low, gets it to Collins. Collins turnaround, finishes it off. Assisted by Josta Totten, who got it to her down there on the low post. Lady Tigers need a stop here, 8.50 to go. Lady Indians starting to turn it on offensively. Jayla Chills goes in the corner there. And now it's a travel by Lenicki McMillan. McMillan making her 18th appearance for the Lady Indians. Averaging 6.1 a game. Gives it back to the Lady Tigers. Blair in the front court. Spins her way to the hoop. Goes up. Oh, rolls it off the iron. Collins, though, on the board. Collins too strong. Rebound by McMillan, and they'll push it out. It's Chills going cross court there to Neeland, and Neeland with another layup. 65-44 in Awamba. Starting to open things up here. Eight minutes, ten seconds to go. Blair trying to cross over Chills. Lost it on the ground. Timeout, Lady Tigers. Denitra Forrest burns her fourth time out here in the second half. We'll go ahead and catch a breather ourselves, folks, and then be right back after this full timeout right here on KahomaSports.com, your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. We are back here on CohomaSports.com. You're home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics in Awamba. Opening it up a bit down the stretch here. They're up by 21, led by 15 at halftime. Neeland has been good. Chills has been good for the Lady Tigers. Sisk has really separated herself. She has 15, including three threes, a couple of beautiful finishes around the rim to go along with those long-distance calls. She's going to inbound here as they wipe the floor and... Make sure it's dry here after the scramble by Erika Blair. Now, before the timeout, we said that the Lady Tigers took their fourth timeout of the half. That was actually their fifth. They have just one remaining. Lady Indians have all six, and they are ahead comfortably here. Itawaba comes into this contest on a 10-game win streak. They beat Mississippi Delta on January 22nd, final in that one, 76-64. Before that, beat East Mississippi, 71-61. Had a big win earlier in the month against Jones County. Thriller, 86-81 victory for Itawamba. They are in a dogfight with Northwest for tops in the MAC JC North. Blair stuffed there. Itawamba comes down with the rebound. Hooker pushing it. Far side, she'll stop up, go back to Garner. Garner wide open for the three, and it spins out. Rebound, though, by Neeland, and Neeland is fouled on the way up. She'll head to the line for a pair. Jasmine Leonard got her on the arm. Leonard has fouled out of a couple games for the Lady Tigers this year, but just some hard basketball underneath the rim there for the White Station High graduate out of Memphis, Tennessee. Leonard averages about 
one foul per game for the Lady Tigers. She plays just about 11.7 minutes per contest, puts in about two points in those 11.7 minutes. Neeland, no good on either, and Blair able to come down with the rebound for the Lady Tigers. Totten, near side. Sisk now controls up top. Sisk loses it to Hooker. Hooker with yet another steal. Going down the right side, she has numbers with Allen, takes it herself. Missed the short layup, but was hit on the arm. Once again, Lady Indians go into the stripe. That foul once again against Leonard. Leonard now with four, so she's in danger of fouling out for the third time this season. Hooker off the iron. Ashley Howard is going to check into the game here for the Lady Tigers. Hooker on the season, shooting at, at a 24% clip from the stripe, not great. And in the first half, did not attempt any free throws. She did get the second there, 66-44. Totten back to Sisk, now it's Howard. Howard looking inside to Collins, goes over the top. Collins has it, turn around, and she gets it. Erica Collins has been working on that turnaround all year, getting better as the season has progressed. And I was talking earlier to a faculty member here at CCC just singing the praises of Erica Collins, leading the Lady Tigers in points and rebounds for the 2014-15 season. Again, drawing interest from Delta State and Southern Miss. We'll see where she ends up next year. Almost grabbed that rebound, but did tip it to number four, Miss Aisha Mays, and Mays put it off the glass to make it 68-46. Blair on the other end, too strong, Collins for the finish, can't get it. Totten gets it after it's knocked out. Sisk looking inside, bounce pass to Collins. Collins fighting against Neeland, it rolls it home. Erica Collins with another tenacious effort down low. She gets the Lady Tigers back within 20 with 6.15 on the game clock. Once again, it's Mays, short jumper. Splits the net, 70-48. Itawamba averages 80.8 .8 points per game on the season. So on pace for that with just about six to go. Sisk, now it's Totten up top over the head to Amber Sisk. They'll play pitch and catch. Now it's Howard near side looking inside to Collins. Nearly had it swatted away. Collins triple team. Goes back out to Sisk, 4-3 in the game, no good. And it's knocked out of bounds. It will remain Lady Tiger ball. Couple of subs here for the Lady Indians. Looks like McMillan coming back in the game. Hooker, she's out, as is Kaylin Neeland. Lady Tigers inbound here on the baseline. Totten inside to Collins. Collins outside to Sisk. Finds Totten in the corner. Totten thinking three, two short, rebound chills. She goes down the near side, working against Howard, gets to the baseline, pretty footwork, couldn't finish off the glass. Collins comes down with the rebound. Collins fighting her way to that one. She wins it and gives it off to Josta Totten. Lady Tigers dropped games last week to Northwest and Northeast by a combined 68 points. Howard misses the three there. Rebound by number 13, McMillan. And now it is Jeronia Allen. Allen dumps it to Garner. Garner, the lefty for three, too strong. Howard on the bound. Chantrell Williams getting, getting ready to go back in the game here for the Lady Tigers. Totten across the emblem, calling out the play, gives it to Sisk. After Holmes next week, Lady Tigers get some time off. Back in action against East Mississippi on the ninth. That game will be played in Scuba. Start time, 5.30. We have a whistle on the floor, foul against Itawamba. Chantrell Williams comes in the game. Ashley Howard to the stripe here. Couple more sevens here for the Lady Indians. It was on the floor. Lady Tigers inbound here on the baseline. Chantrell Williams stuffed there on the attempted alley-oop. And she's going to head to the line. That foul goes against number 15, Roe Allen. 
And looks like the referee was mistaken there. It was actually a number 25, Raylan Starks. Starks, the freshman out of Cordova, graduate of Arlington High, puts Williams on the line. Williams misses the first. Lady Tigers have Holmes, East Mississippi, those two games, and then Northwest, Northeast, and Mississippi Delta to conclude the season. We've seen all of those teams before and unfortunately did drop all of our games to them. So the Lady Tigers will be looking to even the series center seri season series against their remaining opponents. Missed three there for Itawamba, but rebound grab by McMillan, jump ball. It will remain in the hands of Itawamba. Inbound coming from the baseline, four minutes, 28 seconds to go. Chills here on the inbound. Lady Tigers sticking with that 2-3 zone. Hooker ends up with it. Goes down to Chills in the corner. Chills working against Howard, trying to make space on the baseline. Spin move, nothing doing. 19 on the shot clock, they're working around the perimeter. Now it's Starks high post against Blair. Puts her head down, puts up a shot, missed it, and Blair comes down with the board. Howard near side, working against Chills, who sags off a little bit. Howard from Clarksdale. Transfer from Mississippi Delta. Now it's Williams, loses it inside. Went off a Lady Indian foot. Think it went off the foot of Chills. And it will be Lady Tiger possession down in the baseline. Toddnell inbound once again. 7.56 to go. Josta to Chantrell Williams goes up strong. Missed it off the iron and the glass. Raylan Starks on the bound. Allen down the far side. Tries to go back to Chills. Chills corrals it with one hand. She drives to the block, nice move and nice pass. Lenicki McMillan is the one who finishes it off, but that play generated by Chills, who had a nice pump fake down low and made a beautiful dish. Lady Tiger pass there, knocked out of bounds by Jeronia Allen. Totten nearly picked off there, but it does go out of bounds. Three minutes, 31 seconds to go, folks. Lady Tigers, Lady Indians going at it here in Clarksdale. Looks like the Lady Indians do have the advantage, and barring something miraculous, will most likely hold on in this one. Chantrell Williams missed on the runner, but Totten gets it after it's knocked out, and she finishes it off. 72-50 on the Totten drive. Jossie getting going here in the second half. Had a bit of a quieter first half. She struggled with the turnovers, committed four of those to go along with four points. And now it will be Lady Tiger basketball there on the sideline. Sisk is going to inbound after the Lady Indian turnover. 72-50 is the score. Three minutes, five seconds to go in regulation. Howard splitting a couple of Lady Indian defenders. And there is a reach-in foul that is going to go against Ricky Hooker. We'll check on your leading scorers here, folks. But we do know for sure that Tucker has nine. Tony has eight. Those are for the Lady Indians. Elantra Tucker turned in a pretty good game. 9.6 rebounds, four assists. Tony with those eight points to go along with two rebounds, no assists. Hooker, who just committed the foul, has three points, six assists. And she was cited there for the reach. That was her second foul. Howard behind the back looking for someone. Goes back up top to Totten. Totten working against Hooker. Goes up to the high post to Williams. Williams, beautiful dish to Howard. And Howard finishes it off. Pretty passing play there from the Lady Tigers, 2.43 to go. They get back within 20. Shot here from Evans, and Evans sinks it. ICC responds, two and a half to play. Totten almost loses it, gets it ahead to Sisk, now back to Josta. Josta Totten, high post to Williams, down low to Howard. That pass intercepted by McMillan. Now it's Chills near side, one-handed pass there, and the finish. By number 22, Treasure Evans, Jayla Chills with a couple of pretty dimes here in the last couple of minutes to keep this relentless Itawamba attack coming. Chantrell Williams, though, hard to the glass. She finishes it off. Hooker will slow things up as we get under the two-minute mark. Goes to Chills. Chills crossing over Totten. Tries to go down low there to McMillan, and McMillan is fouled. Foul is going to go against number three, Arika Blair. That is Blair's third, team's eighth. Shot here for Lenicki McMillan. First of two, can't quite get it. 
McMillan on the season, a 71.4% free throw shooter. Playing in her 18th game here for the Lady Indians. Fires again and misses that one. Starks on the bound. Starks back up and she gets it to go. Raylan Starks makes it a 78-54 game. Totten down the near side. Trapped. Hooker comes up with the steal after tipping the pass. Three on two here for the Lady Indians. Hooker fouled down low by Ashley Howard. They're going to say it was on the shot. And so Hooker will head to the line. Minute 30, Lady Tigers look like they will drop their 15th game of the season and their 12th in a row. The streak continues here for the Lady Tigers, but some things to be excited about tonight. Amber Sisk turns in a 15-point performance at the moment. Of course, she can always add to that. Sunk three beautiful threes and a couple of nice finishes near the hoop as well. Totten has 11. She's in double figures once again which is a place that she's been very comfortable with all season. Totten did have 18 against Mississippi Delta, turning in an 11-point effort here this evening. 80 points now for Itawama. They've equaled their season average with a buck 24 still remaining. Sisk gives it back to Josta Totten. Now it's Sisk far side over the head. Pass to Howard, three ball, too short. Blair, though, on the rebound, back up too strong. Williams grabs the bound, and they're going to blow the whistle. Not sure what this call is. They're going to say it was a foul here on 22. I believe it was on 22 Treasure Evans. They're going to say she fouled Chantrell Williams on that rebounding opportunity. So Williams going to the strike. We'll check on her stat line here. But going back to Josta Totten for a moment. Totten, as we said, in double figures against Mississippi Delta. She's now been in double figures. Three of the Lady Tigers' last four games had 13 against Northwest on January 20th. And now I guess they're reversing the call here and saying it was on Williams. So it's going to be Lady Indians to the stripe, sort of the confusing moment here. But to the line, it's going to be Treasure Evans. They gave that one to Williams, ultimately ruling that it was on the offensive side of things that the foul was committed. 70 seconds to go and Evans heads to the stripe. Treasure Evans a an 80% free throw shooter on this season. Average about averages under one free throw a game but she does get a chance here and makes the most of the first 81-54. We'll check on those leading scorers here for Itawamba. Tucker has nine. Tony with eight. 82-54. McMillan has 12 to go along with 11 rebounds, but it is Neeland leading the way right now. She was the leading scorer right after half, and she has 14. Lady Tigers throw it away, and it will be Lady Indian ball with under a minute to go here in the pinnacle. Please do stay with us here, folks, on KahomaSports.com. Click on over to the men's game as soon as this one goes final. We'll start the broadcast. Lady Tigers, Lady Indians will conclude, and then the Tigers and Indians will get things going. 5-12 and 12 Indians versus the 2-14 and 14 Tigers. Should be a fun one here in Clarksdale. Itawamba works it around. Tony shot in and out. Ball's knocked out by Blair. It'll remain on this end. 44 seconds to go. Fresh shot clock here for Itawamba. They're going to improve to 16-2 and two on the season. They'll run their win streak to 11 and move up to 7-0 in conference play. Jocelyn Totten tries to run it down. Chantrell Williams on the ground. Gets it to Sisk. Sisk picks it up. About a five-second difference here between the game clock and shot clock. About 29 seconds to go here in regulation. Totten down to Chantrell Williams. Williams fouled there as she put it on the ground. That one's going to go against number 20, Zira Long. Goes by Z, a sophomore guard who doesn't get a ton of playing time for Itawamba. Averages just about a half point a game. But she puts Chantrell Williams on the line. Check on Williams' stat line here momentarily. Williams makes the free throw, 82-55. Chantrell with seven points, three rebounds, one assist. Looking for point number eight here. Can't quite get it. Rebound, though, by Ashley Howard. Gets it out to Sisk. 
Shot clock goes off. Lady Tigers trying to pad their stat line. Williams fouled on the layup attempt, and now she's going to go back to the stripe, place that she's been familiar with here in the second half. Lady Tigers will fall in this one. This will be their Twelfth consecutive loss dating back to November 11th. Williams knocks down the free throw there. It'll be their fourth consecutive loss by 10 or more. They've lost by 10 or more in five of their last six contests. Only one they have not lost by that margin was against Southern University Shreveport. But again... Some bright spots for the Lady Tigers tonight. Sisk and Totten both in double figures. Itawamba tries to beat the buzzer there. No good. Erica Tony misses it, but this one has gone final. 82-57. Kaylin Nealon leading score for the Lady Indians. Sisk the leading score for the Lady Tigers. Lady Indians now 16-2. Lady Tigers now 2-15.